Weighing as much as a ton each, these slabs are all that's left of an ancient people. Arranged in circles, the openings face east. These are the megaliths of Sin Gaian. Massive stones in the sands of Senegal, moved here by hand by a mysterious people. This man is determined to dig up some answers. Anthropologist Augustine Hall leads a team of more than two dozen students from the University of Michigan to help solve the riddle of the stones. They've got their work cut out for them. There are about 2,000 sites, including circles and other markers, spread over thousands of square miles, all of them standing guard over human bones. And there are clues. The way these bones were buried was highly unusual. Augustine's team of detectives begin here, circle number 27. Unlike all the rest, this one's a circle within a circle. Augustine believes this ancient people didn't bury their dead all at once, but over a period of time. They would put the body in a shallow grave and wait for the flesh to decay. Then they would choose specific bones to bury in yet another ceremony. The second step involved in probably a very elaborate ceremony, the process of selecting the body part, which has to be now carried, maybe in a procession, to the new burial ground, and then buried among the kings in probably a festive environment. The students are finding proof that this theory just might be true. So far, they're not finding whole skeletons, only certain parts, mostly skulls. There were two crania located here and then one here. And originally, we thought that it was a primary burial, um, an a full body. But after we um, exposed everything and started removing, we realized that it, it followed the same patterns as our other discoveries. The skull and bones fills the inner circle, but the outer circle contains a different pattern. Ceramic pots on top of jaw bones. The pots may have held offerings for the afterlife. This explanation of multiple burials for the dead goes against what many people believe happened here. There will be some controversy, and I think this is how science progresses. For now, Augustine and his detectives will continue to pry open these doorways to the dead. For the dead have taken the answers with them.